All right, there it is. Uh, 35 East North or 35 Northeast, whatever you want to call it. And there's a ton of traffic up there, so there's a ton of traffic behind us. It's been an interesting chill drive so far. And look at all those trucks out there. I don't know if you can see all of them, but it's just a line of trucks. We're moving along. You can see there's a good speed going on here, but I think in order to show you sport mode, <clears throat> may be best to pull off and then do like acceleration pulls on the on-ramps which seems legit to me and uh, you can see here on the map where we are we're just outside of BFE Tokyo maybe I don't know where we are and yeah this this kind of situation reminds me of I-81 in Virginia, like the fast lane is the slow lane again, and the truckers got it right. They're just like, go a little slower and let everyone pass, because it's a lot less stressful, right? You don't want to induce fatigue. You just don't, like, there's no need to stress out, <clears throat> so, yeah. Like, even if you wanted to move over, it would be difficult. Because I'm sure these people won't want you to be in front of them. So it's like, nope. Just keep going. Anyway. Uh, let's see. There is an exit coming up in like half a mile, as you can tell right there. So we'll do that. No need to sit in this crap. corner. Alright, put it in Sport Plus. Immediately you hear the exhaust valves open out back and up front we're going to have some sort of a better uh, sound of like induced uh, engine noise, which is funny. And then you hear the downshifting as we slow down. Alright, we have auto headlights. I'd turn off the high beams with that button down there. <clears throat> Seems pretty straight across this road here. Clear on the left, clear on the right, no one's looking. No, here comes the guy. We'll wait. Alright, and then what we'll do is we'll punch it. It kind of curves left and then it curves right and we merge. And I can see in my mirror that there are cars coming. So we'll just let most of that traffic go by because we'll catch them in a jiffy. And this should be fun. Okay, so I'm gonna put the torque vectoring diff here into um, track mode, and we'll see how that works. So Sport Plus and track. If I turn off traction control, it actually ends up in expert mode, but I don't wanna do that. I'll keep it the way it is. And we're clear left, we're clear right. And I'll kinda of tow in gently, and then just go wide open, uh, kinda of like at the uh, apex of the turn here. We'll see how that works out. Kind of take this corner. Got to slow down so we can merge. <laughs> so soon all right you can see all the traffic way up there that we got out of and now we're just on the, this nice open pocket and I had to turn off my brights because of course like I already turned off the auto on for the brights so I keep going back and forth on that no matter what car I'm in I just can't seem to uh, make up my mind nor can it all right so if your adrenaline is not flowing mine is and that's kind of the thing here if if you're looking to change it up a little bit and uh, put some spice on your drive just change the mode the car still behaves the same it's just a little bit more lunatic than before so like you know people are coming up on you and as long as you know they're not 
uh, let's just call them enforcing things, then, then, you know, you're free to pass. I mean, it shouldn't be illegal to pass somebody. So all I'm going to say is we're going to pass. And then we're going to go right. And then we just kind of bring it down. We're coasting uphill, basically. And there we go. Like, we are the only car for, like, a half mile ahead of us. Which is how I like to do road trips here. Normally, I would, like, have crews set below the speed limit or right at or just above and then rather than sitting beside vehicles as we pass in the next lane just punch it and go around them and then take your foot off and let the car resume the speed that's all you have to do and look everyone's falling back into line back there you got to set an example i mean we're leading obviously i think that's a cop up there on the right or a pulled over truck it's a pulled over truck when we've left Anyway, we were doing 77 in a 75. And this is kind of like the best way to cross a place like Texas is you just kind of hover around the speed limit and then pass and then get back in line. That's it. So less stressful than doing what they're doing up there, which is like tailgating and bunching up and blocking everybody and just killing progress. It's just so stupid the way they do that. I don't speed up a hill because you never know what's on the other side of it. Uh, and then these people are coming. You know, we'll let them pass. That way we have something to play with. How about that? You know, like a cat and a mouse. Besides, I don't want to rush up into that group over there. That's stupid. That's pointless. Alright, so we got a Toyota Camry. Oh, and it's going to open up a lane too, so that's even better for me. What do we have there? A Cadillac whatnot 2.0 it looks like. And a Nissan van. Now, that's always interesting, you know, like, that could be a church van or whatever, but there's most likely going to be people in it, so I stay away from vehicles that have people in it, because they could do something stupid, uh, dumb lane change, not signal, who knows, I just don't want to be around that stuff if things go bad, because that's a lot of, uh, a lot of people, and, uh, if there was ever an accident, I don't want to be anywhere near a van at all. No, thank you. I've seen a really bad accident before in Atlanta in the outskirts and it wasn't pretty and I don't want to talk about it. But it did involve a van and a sleepy driver. And that's all I'm going to say. All right. Right now, I'm just going to chill again. I'm going to put it back into normal mode, so I'll push down on the drive selection here. And, of course, that canned open valve exhaust sound goes away. And now we're just chill. And you see the little eco light on there, down there. That means we're running some kind of eco mode. I don't really know what that means. Four-cylinder mode, perhaps? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. How about that? I didn't read the manual here. All I know is I like driving this on the track. I like driving it on the road. And that's enough for me to say, hey, I want one. There is an eco mode too, and I don't use the eco mode. There's just no point for me. So it's not my thing. So I won't waste my time showing you. Even with three lanes, the trucks stay in the middle, which is weird because now you got to pass. Well, in this case, you want to pass on the right, but you can't because it's the outside of the turn. I 
and then there's another vehicle up there. See, this guy's going to do it, and he realizes there's another truck up there. And then that means the guy on the left here is a schmuck. Hey, schmuck. Yep, so he moves over, and then that guy's not going to go any faster. Oh, he is. Why didn't he just go in the first place? This is just stupid. And then he moves over. And we're doing this all at 76 miles an hour. It's too conservative. Like, I'm spending way too much time next to this big truck. So we'll drop it down into Sport Plus. And then how come I'm catching up to this guy so far away? Like, why, why, why? Why doesn't he just pass? What an ass. All right, my arm's kind of jiggly, so the road's not that bumpy. The suspension's not that bad. It's just my arm is tired from holding this gimbal, which is holding a cable, which is plugged into my phone camera thing, which is keeping it charged so it doesn't die in the middle of my shoot so that I don't lose my footage and have to shoot all over again. This happened to me twice. And, uh... Yeah, I, I would have had much better content, trust me. I was actually refilling this car, and someone came up and said, Oh my god, big props, bro, you got the GSF. And I know exactly what that is, and I really envy you. And I said, thanks. I didn't tell him it was not my car, I just said thanks. But really, like, someone came up to me while I was refueling, and, and they knew what it was, and they said, Hey, that's awesome, and I said, thanks. So, it's not just another Lexus. And if that was you at the Shell station, thank you very much. But I lost that footage. <laughs> 22.3 MPGs, by the way. What if we average for speed? 70. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. 70 mile an hour average speed. Pretty cool. Yeah, this steering is great because in Sport Plus it's really stiff and then when you straighten out of corners, plus we're in track mode here on the torque vectoring diff, like everything just feels so dialed in. Let's just say that, and I know dialed in is used by a lot of people, like that guy Matt from Obsessed Garage, which is a cool channel by the way, cool channel Matt. Uh, you don't know me and I don't know you, but I do know your channel. Uh, dialed in is a great term. This car itself is on point. How about that? On point. Yes, I'm a hypocrite. I'm still in the left lane. But we are shifting. We're shifting pretty fast. I do want to move over at some point. Just to be safe. is kind of open in front of us there's really nothing out here there's like exit 404 which is like where their gas station is and then there's a DuPont something like a DuPont factory or whatever and then we're 41 miles from Dallas so we're pretty close not too far away but I just kind of want to tone it down here I just want to take it easy so I'll put it back in comfort mode or normal mode, sorry. There is no comfort mode, just I call normal comfort. That's the best way to do it. <sighs> yep. And we'll let the adrenaline wear off. You don't need coffee when you're driving this on a road trip. Speaking of which, there is a mode here which tells me uh, sway warning, time until rest. Now, I know I, I refueled and I stopped in and out to regain where I was when I left off for continuity, but yeah, sway a warning. I don't need any time to rest. And I think, I think that's cool that it has it, but I do know that just put it in Sport Plus mode, obviously not when you're actually really fatigued, but maybe when you're bored, put it in Sport Plus and then have some fun and that'll, that'll spice it up, kick it up. And I know I've said that a couple times, trust me though. You're not in the car. I'm trying to make you feel like you are. And I hope you appreciate that. But 
Yep, that's what it is. class. There are a couple other vehicles that are really good at this. I like my Durango RT. But this car is right up there too. The way the ride quality is. You're not fatigued. You're not worn out. It goes. It shifts. You can get out of trouble. Sounds great. Just so many things about it. It's not just a car. It's a car. The funny thing is I say time to chill and I end up going 90 again, but it just doesn't sound like it because I don't have it in Sport Plus. And then I bring it down to the speed limit. The speed limit's right there. It says 75. And then we're doing uh, close enough. There we go. I'll move over one. lanes wide. Pretty good gap here. Yeah. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is this a good car? Do you want one? Is this a great video? Do you like the road trip stuff? Do you wish I edited the videos? Do you want to see more, uh, like editing or do you like this real experience like you're in the passenger seat over here and you're riding along with me and you're like yeah this is cool I'd rather keep it cool than keep it like trendy because I'm not an influencer I'm a journalist and this is the real deal these are all the lights by the way sometimes my camera doesn't really do low light that well so hopefully it's cool enough What are your thoughts on the analog clock? I'm not a big fan of analog clocks. I'm a big fan of analog clocks if they look really stylish, but not when they look like that. That just, you know, to me is like a clock. And I know Porsche does their stopwatch thing. You know, there's all sorts of different ways to do it, but really, I mean, do we want to see and spend money and time on a clock like that? Or can't you just put it in here as a digital display? Like, what is the purpose of that analog clock? I mean, I do have a watch. I guess, you know, that's the thing. It's like, oh, I'm glad my car has Apple CarPlay because I have a phone. Well, I don't need a watch because I have a clock in the car. Or is it the other way around? All right, we're catching up on this guy here. It looks like a Honda CRV. And there's people way, 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 way back there. It's practically like nobody, well, they're gone now. There's nobody in the mirror. Okay, we pass the guy. Pretty cool, huh? People way back there now. Let's see if I can focus on that. Focus on the water drops. <laughs> Ugh. One lane open. All right, so we are near thirty minutes from downtown. And what I'll do is I'll end this video here at like the 20 minute mark. And then we'll resume when we get to downtown. And and uh, that's basically where I started this trip. And I'll tell you what I think. I mean, I've already told you, but I'll tell you again. Because I think it's just going to be a beauty of a place to shoot from. And it's uh, epic at night. And I, I want to get that with this interior. So, cool. I'll see you in a moment. <laughs> 